Good day, friends. I would like to make a amazingly cool, super fast car with you. So I've clicked and named it Car. I'm going to just bring out the cube, and then I want my cube today to have rounded corners so that it looks a little neater. Uh, I'm going to type in the number three. You can play with that as much as you want. And then I'm going to use the black handle to stretch my car out and make it a little wider. Somewhere in the 30 range is cool. Uh, but as soon as you got that done, you are ready to add wheels. Wheels are amazing. Uh, click W so that you put your wheels on the side of your car. And let's add our wheels using the awesome tube. When you bring the tube out, because we have the work plane over there, it lands right on the side. And then we want to shrink all the sides at once. So hold down Shift and grab one of the white corners and drag while holding Shift. And that way it changes to the size that you want all at once. I'm going to make my wheels black. So I'm clicking the color and change it to black. And then I'm going to do control D and use the arrow key on the keyboard to move my two wheels apart. With my two wheels uh, apart, I'm going to hold down shift and select them both. And I'm going to group those. So now I've got those two wheels exactly the way I want them and spread out. I'm going to shut off my work plane by clicking the work plane tool and clicking the blue line. I'm going to switch to a top view and I'm going to do control D. And because I shut off the work plane, I can simply use the arrow key to move my wheels to the other side so that my car is nifty from this side as well. The wheels are exactly how I want them. Switch back to one of my corner views. I'm going to now take the front of my car, and I've decided now that I want it to stretch out a little bit further. So I'm going to use the black handle to stretch it out. And then I don't want my car to rub the ground, so I'm going to use the cone to lift it up just a little bit. I want to add a top to my car, so I'm going to hit W. And I'm going to add the top to my car using the round roof today. When I set the round roof on, I want to turn it sideways. So I'm going to switch to the top view, grab that rotation arrow. Now rotation you need to be patient with. It takes a second for it to kick in. But then I want it to snap to the long line. See if I stretch a long way, it, it does crazy rotations. If I come right to the middle, it does nice straight rotations. I'm going to grab just those middle two pieces, so I'm just drawing a box that touches both. And I'm going to align them to the center, just like this. I'm going to switch to a top corner view, and I'm going to make the cockpit, or the compartment where everybody sits, I'm going to make it transparent. So gray and transparent. Now you can see in my car. I'm going to use the same kind of trick to real quickly add headlights. Let's press W and click on the front of the vehicle. And I'm going to add my headlights with the paraboloid. I bring the paraboloid out. I'm going to hold down shift so it shrinks all at the same amount until I'm happy. That's my headlight size in my head. You can pick other cool headlights. You can do things to change the color. When you're happy with your headlight, do control D and use the arrow keys. To move the other one to the other side. You can add all kinds of amazing things with the Tinkercad tools, but that, my friends, is how to make an amazingly simple car in no time. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Wait, 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 wait.